strike swiftly in the night, without fear of plight. Wherever you go, we go, for the glory of Nintendo. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and those ninjas, the Nintendo ninjas, have struck once more within the last few hours, and their target, the Free Shop. This is an app that made a brief debut in my Pokemon Prison video, and it allows you to do what you would think from the title itself. Download, look, that's the fucking ninjas coming for my ass right now. It lets you download anything on the Nintendo eShop for free, which, let me say right now, disclaimer, I completely support. Like, they should not be able to download stuff like that all for free off of the eShop. It's fucked up. It's piracy. It's the most fucked up form of piracy. It's really twisted that that program was able to survive for this long. So, I mean, I'm not mad at Nintendo in the slightest for taking legal action and putting a fucking strong arm on the program. However, their programs and the way that they handle digital content is not exactly the greatest or the most conventional in comparison to a lot of these other companies. Them niggas are pissed off. So what I think is that they need a more modern system for future generations of hardware, which where if you buy a game on one piece of hardware, on one 3DS or whatever, that you're able to at least play it on other consoles with some restrictions like how PSN does it. There's a lot of different ways that you can do so without it being taken advantage of to an extreme. But if I buy a game digitally right now on the 3DS, which I've done many times before, if I, for example, lose the 3DS, well, I gotta buy the game again. If I, uh, for example, get a new 3DS and maybe there's complications that make it so I can't transfer system to system, I gotta buy the game all over again. DLC, the same thing. There's a lot of flaws with how Nintendo's digital games work out, so hopefully they can get a better way so that way piracy is not exactly advocated for. But a lot of what the piracy is used for is to create backups of the content that you own digitally so that way if something complex happens or you know there's more 3ds's that come out in the future you would have a way to protect your investment because you know I've already spent so much money on multiple copies of the same game over 3ds generations and I mean it, it makes it just a little bit messy you know it's a lot of money flying out of your pocket so I think backups is a good way like you know having a backup of the game like a CIA or a ROM or whatever but that doesn't mean that I can completely think that the free shop is totally exempt from the rule no no no. they are fucked up they i'm glad they got taken down nintendo do you but guys what i wanted to address is that when nintendo took down the free shop the github website where it was hosted they hit it up and apparently to get something taken down there you have to give responses to questions in-depth responses and nintendo did it now i don't know which of their ninjas was the one that actually filled out the forms but we have full responses from Nintendo's ninjas right here right now we can see their words precisely when I started reading it and I realized what it was I said I have to read the rest of this shit on camera with you guys are you ready to take a look at the lingo the way that these niggas cut down the free shop we're going to examine the remains of the crime scene right here. Let's take a look at what's going on. So as you can see, we are on GBA Temp, probably one of Nintendo's most hated websites. And we have this thread that says, this is probably not going to end well. Seems like Nintendo took down the GitHub repo for free shop. And here we have two links. Now this one, it takes you to the actual page where um, the free shop used to be hosted. And it says right here, Repository unavailable due to the DMCA takedown. We disable public access to the repository. The notice has been publicly posted. If you're the owner, blah, blah, blah. Basically, RIP, the niggas are dead. R move on. It it's over, nigga. The free shop is done, bro. We also have another page on the main site, where, or the main thread, rather, and it says this is the actual takedown notice. Let's see what these ninjas got to say about this situation. So are you the copyright owner or authorized to act on the copyright owner's behalf? Yes, we are authorized to act on Nintendo of America's behalf. My nigga, this is so crazy. The ninjas actually are talking. Like, we've seen this a lot beforehand. I mean, when they go take down notices, they usually involve you to communicate to some level. But GitHub, I guess they experience so many similar situations that they require you to give even more details. They require you to give stuff to them, like responses that truly do let them know, okay, this is your copy, right? Like, you, we, we, we're fucking up. We got to take this shit down. But let's keep reading. You'll see what I'm talking about as we continue, man. So what work was allegedly infringed? If possible, please provide a URL. 
Free shop application provided at this link infringes Nintendo's copyrights because the application circumvents Nintendo's technological protection measures in violation of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, DMCA. Nintendo encrypts the game files available from its eShop servers to prevent those from accessing the files without paying for them. Nintendo believes the free shop application circumvents Nintendo's protection measures by de- Crazy response, right? I mean, you see what I'm talking about here. A full paragraph right there. Nintendo explaining everything from the ground up. The free shop application also contains unauthorized copies of the Nintendo 3DS logo data file. They're covering all their bases. They're trying to attack any angle. These ninjas don't play around, bro. You don't fuck with the Nintendo ninjas, my nigga. You get caught on one end, you get caught on all of them. Hmm, hmm. Oh, for the glory of Nintendo. What file should be taken down? Please provide the URLs. They gave you the URL. Have you searched for any forks? And then they said, yeah, we identified 48 forks of the infringing repository as follows. And you see all the links. Nintendo is not playing games here. They wanted this shit dead, bro. Dead. And then um, look, look at how long. Like, they, they gave resp- So let's keep reading. Is the work license under an open source license? If so, what license? Nintendo says Nintendo's copyright work is not licensed under an open source license. They are so straight to the point. These boys are just they, they there for business. The ninjas are there for business, nigga. What would be the best solution for the alleged infringement? Are there specific changes that the person can make other than removal? Please immediately remove the files. This is not a fucking game. We got the lawyers on deck. I'm the ninja. But then again, fuck the lawyers. I'm the ninja nigga. I'm here to kill somebody. I I want that nigga dead. (laughs) It's crazy. Do you have the alleged infringer's contact information? If so, please provide it. No. Damn, Nintendo. Okay, and then they say type or copy and paste the following statement. And this is just something that they can use so that they understand what they're getting into and that it's like a confirmation, like a signature or whatever. And then they also give you another statement like that to do. Copy paste this thing. And then it says, please confirm that you read our guide to submitting a DMCA. They confirm that so that we can get back to you. Please provide either your telephone number or physical address and please type your legal name down below. Private, private, private. That first initial paragraph, I just find it so interesting to me, man. I don't know about if you guys share the same sentiments, but this is in action right here. The Nintendo Ninja striking and killing someone. What are you guys' thoughts on this? I obviously know that a lot of you guys are happy that Nintendo is taking action like this. Being able to get games for free is fucked up. But one stance that I will always hold is that having backups of content that you already paid for is completely fine. So if something can be abused the way that the free shop was, then maybe it shouldn't be left up. Maybe the ways that you should back up your game should remain difficult, obscure, not as straightforward. I mean, there's been apps before the free shop that have done this level of piracy. There's been, um, there's been CI Angel, Tick Devil, and endless others that allow you to download stuff off of the free shop or <laughs> off of the eShop without a problem. But I guess because the free shop got so much attention, Nintendo decided to put a fucking a marker on it. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering, did they take down the free shop because it was briefly shown in my prism video? Oh, nigga.